So Robbie joins me after losing 1 0 to Folkestone. Robbie, we huffed and puffed, but we just couldn't blow that door down, could we? No, nah, I think, um, listen, where we are at the minute, we're just going through that transitional period, I think, and we've got to get into a situation where uh, we're doing better things. And, um, you know, we, we're just struggling at the minute. You know, we're struggling. Um, and we just look like a team that's in the mid table and, and going nowhere, if you know what I mean. And listen, there'll be big transformations come, you know, sooner rather than later. And, um, you know, we, we spoke to the players about that, about being on board and that. And if you're not, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be difficult conversations going ahead. But, you know, you, what you can't do is you can't fault the players' commitment and effort today which was got and I think from supporters point of view you want to be seeing better results and you want to be seeing teams win games but what you can't say is that we didn't perform or not sorry not perform but we 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 worked hard and you know I think that's what we did well it was a penalty and it got folks in the win I can I, to be fair I can really see it was on my blind side but it was the linesman yeah. that practically was 100% there he had a good view but other than that penalty Robbie we were saying in the commentary box their commentators their manager said the same there wasn't much in the game at all both teams had yeah, chances but but yeah you know we, we had chances but I'd, I'd look at it and go whether it, I don't want to blame referees because like I said when I spoke to you earlier we're going through that transitional period of, of making decisions and, and seeing where we go from there and um, what I would say is it's not a penalty because me and Jay have got a great view of it. It's not a penalty. It looks because it looks quite close. It's a penalty. Mm. But what I would say is two decisions with contact and our players would go down. We don't get a penalty and they do. So listen, that's sometimes always the case when you go away from home and you don't get the rubber to green. But I'm not saying we deserved anything from the game. They probably shaded it. But like I say, we. Um, I also say, think if we didn't have Joe Cook, Joe Dandy and Craig Robson today, we might have got beat five or six. So that's personnel, but we need to get the personnel better in certain areas, in different areas to to where we feel we want to be. And if we can get to that, we, we'll be OK. Well, Joe Cook, again, it could have gone hard. It was a tight one between our back four because Harvey Hughes started off a bit shaky, but he, Harvey yeah. Hughes, Harvey Hughes was fantastic too. Yeah. We gave it to Joe Cook and I think... I get a lot of comments on Facebook saying, oh, it's another defender getting it. Why are defenders getting it and not our strikers? We did try today up front. It's just one of them days, isn't it, Robbie, where we got into positions, we had a few chances, but we just couldn't take them and days like that happen. Yeah, I think um, predominantly why is it our defenders? Probably because we're doing more defending than we're doing more than attacking. Mm. And, you know, we, we need to sort that out. We need to get better with that and hopefully we will. And, um, but that's not going to happen overnight. It's going to happen in a space of time. Uh, and, you know, we we feel there's a core and there's a, um, there's a group of players here. There's a base to work with. Yeah. And I think we need to improve in so many areas. But we will get there. And that's not anything disrespectful on the players. But we will get there. And like we said at half time, we need to be on the boat. We need to all be rowing in the right direction. Because if you do that, if you keep rowing and you keep practicing and keep learning, you become a Cambridge or an Oxford, don't you? Where you, you know, yeah, you're well, very yeah. good. So we, we, we know what we need, we know what's required, and um, we'll try and get there. Well, as it stands now, you can see, although we've lost today, there's a lot more positive vibes off the pitch. A couple of months ago, it did seem a bit doom but it's more positive now. We've got this supporters' night coming up with the management. We've got things happening off the pitch, things are happening on the pitch, you're saying. There's more stuff to look forward to for the fans, isn't there? Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, we, you might not be able to see that now, or you might not believe in that, but I, I can assure you that that, that, that is going to be the case and um, unless I'm mistakenly wrong I think that's going to be the case and um, you know hopefully within the next six months um, to a year it's exciting times at Bogdan Regis Football Club. Yeah well definitely if they do half the stuff what we're saying well we've got the new scoreboard the new tunnel new players coming in and out it's an exciting time for the players yeah. we're going on to a bit of a sour patch today is Ashton E's red card happened right in front of us what's your views on that could you see it from where you were or? whether it, whether it's it's a, a tackle or it's unprovoked it's, it's come, it comes from such a soft tackle anyway and a soft, soft free kick what you can't do is just have bad discipline going through your team and getting sent off you know 
football game's hard enough for 10, with 11 men, let alone 10 men. And it happens too many times now, and these things need to be ironed out, need to be sorted out. Uh, and in time going forward, it will be. What didn't help, no, we had a perfect view. The press box is there, you, you can see it happen right in front. Their number two rolled over, started laughing. So we kind of... No, I get all yeah. of it. You can't, you can't drop down to the level and get yourself into a situation where you get sent off. Yeah. You physically can't do it, Pete. And, mm. you know, we've got to be so better uh, doing them things. And it's just... You know, it's just starting to annoy me and I'm pretty sure it'd be on Jamie and Jack as well. So, um, like I say, there's exciting times going forward and there will be. Um, supporters have just got to be patient with that and um, you'll see, you know, vast improvements in my opinion on and off the pitch. Lastly, uh, I don't know if, you've, if you managed to mention but Eileen. Eileen's doing well. Our supporter, of course, got taken well at yeah. the head. Hopefully we'll see her back at the lane next week against Bowers and Pitsy. Yeah, that's fantastic news because, you know, we don't, <clears throat> want to see anything like that and it's great that she's safe and well and um, you know on the mend and hopefully we can see her soon and hopefully we can you know invite her in and, and, and give her a nice little um, a nice a nice day at the, at, at the next home game well Robbie been a pleasure mate and I can see your head's more upbeat than usual after a loss which yeah, because yeah. because if, if you as a coach or manager or whatever you are if you don't identify and understand the veil, uh, the vulnerabilities and the deficiencies you've got in your team then you're in trouble but we do we know we know where we are and we know what we'll be and we know what we'll get to and that's the most important thing that the supporters stay patient with it trust the process and um you know there will be changes oh, cheers Robbie, mate. cheers if you don't enjoy your guinness